I think the eyebrows are pissing me off the most because this one's like up here and this one. I don't fuck. It's giving 2016, 2017 Laylee on a little date. We love dates. We love dating each other. Bear in mind, still only one month post-op, so it is gonna be uneven. Okay, two weeks since I did my eyebrow removal and this is, this is what we're working with right now. So I haven't touched the eyebrows. You guys can see the pigment has pretty much gone. This yellow is kind of left over from like the redness. It went red and then it went yellow, but it never went crusty and it never went scabby. Now I'm left with, oh, actually the hair's gone back to brown. That's quite good. Before it was a little bit blonde, but I just don't have, actually no, this is still blonde. Yeah, I, I don't really want to be waking up in the morning looking like this much longer. It's not the vibe. Oh, also we are officially five weeks, six weeks post rhinoplasty. I mean, I just look ridiculous right now, but I'm so happy. I am so happy with my nose. She's still very swollen. However, today it's maintenance day. I know you guys are probably thinking, how much maintenance does this bitch do? If you're not God's favorite and you're not born exactly the way you want to be looking, then you have to do stuff. But also no, maintenance is treatments I do just to maintain the way I look. I'm not changing anything. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, you do so much to yourself. Yes, well, I liked I like being as low maintenance as possible by doing these high maintenance treatments. I'm also going away for a month. Therefore, I need to make sure I look perfect as possible and I'm going to be as low maintenance as possible. So first things first, because I'm going away for a month, I know I'm not gonna get a good facial anywhere else. So we're gonna get a facial. I'm gonna get my lips done potentially again. I was considering lip blush, but now I'm kind of like on the fence about it. I might as well just get my lip fillers done. I know I did them before. I felt like after my surgery, they kind of went down. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but I'd like them just a little bit plumper, tiny bit plumper. Also, we're obviously getting the brows done. No, I'm not getting lamination. I'm not getting tinting. I'm not getting nano blading. I'm not getting microblading. No more tattoos. None of that, none of that. I don't have it in me to commit to eyebrows. I can barely commit to a man. It's not happening. It's a lot of commitment for me. I do not like that kind of commitment, particularly when it's on my face. Because as you guys know, I do, I do like to change things on my face quite often. So mm, yeah, it can't, it's, it's a no. We are actually doing henna brows today. Now I didn't know this was a thing until I actually looked up the place that I usually go and do my brows at. And they were like, yeah, henna brows. And I was like, okay, this seems like a semi-permanent kind of temporary tattoo situation I can do which will last me a few weeks. Hopefully, I'm not actually too sure. I have no idea what this treatment is. I just kind of booked it and was hoping for the best. So hopefully it is for the best. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping they can make it straight because naturally, well, the way my brow was, was that it was turned down and I'm not trying to get the same shape again. I did this because I want my brows straighter. I want them to open up my eyes. Also I have to do my lashes. I did have an appointment booked earlier today, but I overslept. I was in like a deep REM sleep and Overslept, so lashes are rebooked for later this evening. I do want to do cat eye, but I don't think it's going to be beneficial because if I start plucking them out, they'll start looking ridiculous. And I know me, I know I will definitely pluck them out eventually, or if they'll bother me and they fall out, then they just look out of place, which is why I do like to do open eye, dull eye, wispy lashes whenever I know I'm not going to get time to infill my lashes. So enough of me talking, let's go fix this whole situation. Okay, so this is what my lips look like now. Just need a little bit more volume. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Check things. And some bad. Few city in there. Lips are done. We only did 0.3 ml and we used, what was the filler called? Volift Juvederm. Volift Juvederm. They're swollen right now, so that's why they look. But they're gonna come down. Okay, one hour since I did my lips. They're a little bit swollen, a little bit bruised. 
and now it's time to go get <laughs> these eyebrows done. They are gonna be so flabbergasted when I walk in. I'm like, hey, can you fix this, please? I didn't actually get time to do a facial today because we had meetings at work, but I've booked in for tomorrow. Fingers crossed, I'll be able to get my facial. And then obviously we're gonna do lashes after because I need help. I really, like I need to sort the situation out. Okay, brows done. I didn't get the henna brows because she said, as the hair on my eyebrows, whatever's remaining is white, we should do a tint because I'm so stupid. How did I forget that henna turns orange? So my hair would have potentially turned orange. However, yes, they're a bit dark right now and they're a little bit thick. Should have maybe taken off a sliver. We made them a bit longer. Um, yeah, but this is basically what I'm dealing with right now. I'm not gonna lie, they're not great. Actually, no, wait, they're really bad. And I'm not talking about the ends, like, cool, yeah, the ends are whatever, like, we've done the most, but the front bit is quite shit. Excuse the pimple. I am just sick of my bad luck when it comes to brows. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Stress. I don't need the stress right now. Anyways, now I'm going to go and do my lashes. At least I know that they're going to come out good and hopefully um, mask the fact that I have these massive slugs on my face. <gasps> Why do I do this to myself? Why? Why? I was really expecting a really hot glow up, I'm not going to lie. And now here I am with slug brows. Remember how I said I trust this salon, I come here often to get my lashes done? Well, today I went with a different lady to do my lashes and... Um... It's not giving wispy lash at all. It's giving ratchet. These are going to last me 10 weeks, but I'm not really here for it. There are so many good lash techs in London I could have topped up with. I'm kind of, no, I'm actually really stressed. I'm on the verge of pulling them off. No, I can't do that. I cannot do that. The purpose of this maintenance was to make me look presentable when I wake up in the morning without having to put any of my makeup on. I'm at a point where I feel like I need to put makeup on to make these lashes look okay because why are they so thick? Why are they so black and like thick? It's just not giving. This is not the classic wispy natural lash look I wanted to go for. It's really not it. I have the worst luck. Maybe I should just open my own salon. No, I don't have the energy for that. I did consider it once upon a time during lockdown. I was like, maybe I should just open my salon. This is so stressful. I think the eyebrows are pissing me off the most because this one's like up here and this one, I don't get it. I, I do not fucking understand. She literally had a blank canvas to work with and I just don't open my mouth. I do not, I don't open my mouth. I'm the issue. I'm the problem. This happens to me every single time. I just, I don't open my mouth. Why don't I open my fucking mouth and say, no, that's not what I want. Oh, come on. No, come off it. Come off it. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It was a specialized brow salon they only do fucking eyebrows how do you fuck up the one thing you specialize in and you have a blank canvas there was no microblading nothing just a little bit of tuft of hair in the front all you had to do was draw draw long i'm gonna go home now and wash this off i would rather have no brows at this point, I would rather have no brows. Ugh, this is just not my day. I should have prayed this morning. I knew I should have prayed this morning. I did not pray this morning. This is why. This is what I get when I don't pray in the morning. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to end it here. No, wait, tomorrow I'm getting a facial up by a light, which is obviously not going to go wrong. So um, we'll say goodbye to Pippa. Last week we had Philippa over here. Now today we have Pippa on my forehead. I'm annoyed facial time today we're doing the carbon laser peel i do this at least twice a month and i love it we have a big pimple there and i also developed a really strange pimple here and my lips are still swollen so with 
begin with the first uh, mm -hmm. Not my mother kicking me out of the clinic because she said I look a mess. <laughs> She's like, "Han, can you just go hide somewhere?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> yeah, my my lips are too arch. Why did you overinflate your lips? I was like, "No, no, no, honey, they're still swollen. I can literally feel them." The whole drive here, I was literally just doing this, massaging them because I really need them to go down. They are rather large. Lashes are looking ridiculous. It's giving 2016, 2017 Laylee, and like that, I'm not saying she wasn't a vibe, she really was, but that's not who I want to be, to be honest. I love pineapple juice in the morning. I need to start drinking pineapple juice daily. I, I do drink pineapple juice daily, um, to be honest, because it really helps your skin, and it has so many different other health benefits. It makes your puss smell good, taste good. When I was drinking it daily and making it fresh at home, my skin was glowing and also my recovery process, it was very fast. Well, do you want to grab some lunch? Yeah, sure. Where do you want to go? Um, I don't know. You tell me. But I've got the car here and I have to get home by about 3 o'clock because uh, a doctor's coming to see the pet. I did say June, watch me be glowing. Just give it to the second week of June when I'm in Italy with a tan, then I'll be glowing. Right now, I'm still under reconstructive surgery. I'm under maintenance, under reconstruction. My pets are getting some healing today, so I have to order food and then rush home because we have a doctor coming to do their healing and bioresonance situation. If you don't know what bioresonance is, it's a great thing if you have allergies. And yeah! Okay, so um, it's been 48 hours since I did my eyebrow. No, wait. Yes, 48 hours since I did my eyebrows. I managed to remove most of the stain from my skin. However, fortunately, it stayed on my actual hairs, which I'm not mad about. Lashes, I'm kind of getting used to. And lips are still a bit swollen and bumpy. So I've just been massaging them. Today it is like my second last day in Dubai. My friend and I are both leaving Dubai. And honestly, I've just got so used to her being here. We've just like, she's like my right arm. But today we have decided we are gonna go on a little date. We love dates. We love dating each other. I love that for us. So today's date, I need a coffee first because it is 3.30, I haven't eaten or drunk yet. I need food. I am intermittent fasting because I still feel heavy from my surgery. I know I should have actually got back into shape, but I'm also on my period, so I'm extra heavy. And also, I've had two periods this month, which has just been so strange. So strange. Like, my hormones are all over the place, which is why my skin is kind of all over the place. But also, my skin is doing so much better than what it was initially doing. And in other news, I've brought out my very old... Is this Murakami? Oh my god, why have I gone blank? My little Murakami bag. I'm, I'm just waiting for someone, they're coming now. Um, Should I move that? So it will take time maybe? Or? Maybe like five minutes. Five minutes, no problem. Now no busy, you can keep Okay, thank you. I Honestly, I think I prefer the black, but I went through a phase where I really love the white. We also had the really tiny ones. For some reason, I thought they were really tacky and I gave them away. I mean, it is a tacky bag. So, ah! tacky vibe. I also got Auntie a Murakami for her birthday. I think two years ago now, but the cherry one. Hey girl. Hey babes. I just moved that into the back. It's just rubbish. How are, How are you? How was the pool? It was okay. How are you Food doing? You've got your watch back, right? Yes. <laughs> and all the jewelry. Yeah. Our last vlog was so funny. Was it? I was watching it and I was editing it and I was like, oh my god, why don't we vlog every day? Was it actually funny? It was so funny. <laughs> we do such dumb shit. Oh my god. <laughs> so today we're going on a date. <laughs> yeah! Our dates. So you... what we can do about this? Okay, first stop is coffee. We came to Arabica. Uh, Arabica. 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 For an iced Spanish latte with some oat milk. And then 
probably gonna chill here for a bit. Because <laughs> we get out we got out of the car and we realised it's actually disgustingly hot. What's the temperature actually? It is 33 degrees. It does not Ooh, it's raining tomorrow. Did you miss me? I London miss me. London looks good on me. I'm back indefinitely. I'm so excited. I am so happy to be home. Honestly, I had the worst anxiety boarding my flight. It's been about a year and a half since I came and it's been about six months too long. Maybe 12 months too long. First things first, we're gonna go for a little walk because I need a coffee and also as soon as I jump off the plane I'm so bloated, dehydrated, disgusting. If you ever see me in the airport just don't even bother coming up to me because I'm so ashamed of how I look at the airport especially on like a long flight. But I want to show you guys what I got because I did a little something. I always struggle when packing because I have so much shit when it comes to hair care, skin care, makeup and then on top of it clothes, shoes and London is like extra heavy packing. I'm also going to Italy, so I had to pack for Italy as well. And it's like, I'm packing for two different, like, two different places. I want to say two different climates, but London's actually quite sunny right now. So what I did was, I did a look fantastic haul. This is not sponsored. So if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. I will happily accept a paycheck from you because I do shop with you. Um, let's go through it. I see the box has already been opened. Mm -hmm. Was your name on the package? No, it was actually falling apart. Look underneath, like the whole box is literally falling apart. So she invited herself to unbox it. So first things first, I ordered a hair curler. Although, GHD kindly gifted Elise um, a hair straightener, I believe. And, ooh, a smoothing hot brush. Two straighteners. Oh, is this a straightener? Yeah, there's only two straighteners, one hot brush. Can you ask them for a hair curler? <laughs> oh, actually, don't have any curler. And... Someone else sent her. Is this GHC as well? Yeah, that's all GHC. Oh, GHC also sent her a hairdryer. Fabulous. And then what I got was from Look Fantastic some shampoo. I haven't actually used Olaplex in a long time. There was some scandal around it. I had, I got some peach colour corrector from Bobbi Brown. I really love this. Elise actually put me onto this. Of course, OGs will know Aveeno. I love a bit of Aveeno, but this is actually the oil. I'm excited to try the oil. I've never tried it. We've got some eyebrow razors because I'm sure you guys know I have literally no eyebrows. So I need to clean them up myself because I'm honestly embarrassed to go to any kind of salon here. A mini translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Neostrata resurfacing face wash. This has salicylic acid in it, I believe. Oh no, this is different. This is the AHA Advanced. Oh, hopefully that won't break me out. The Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I love this. Love a bit of dry shampoo. Givenchy's, um, what is this? I don't know what color I got. Crazy, because there's like green, purple, orange, um, a whole bunch of different colors. I'm not too sure what color this is gonna come out, but I do think I've packed my own um, powder just in case. I got a mini blush in Orgasm X, so it's kind of sparkly. I also got the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I got Mac Whirl, I believe. Yeah. Cerave face wash. The beauty blender, some bum bum cream. Love this. Um, I think this was like, yeah, this was just like a free gift. I'm gonna go for a walk and see you guys in a bit. Bye. I also didn't take my nose, so maybe I should do that. Because right after the plane, I looked after my sleep. I woke up and I was like, oh, the size of my nose. She has doubled, she's tripled, she is swollen, she's hard. Bear in mind, still only one month post-op, so it is gonna be uneven. Very much looking forward to a salt beef sandwich. And going to Dishoom and going to Entrecote. Back from my little walk, I wanna show you guys some of my favorite things to eat whilst I'm in London. If you don't know, I am a huge matcha addict and these two are my favorite places. So I get the soy milk creamy matcha daifuku so good and the matcha brownie from tombo and then kova i haven't had kova in ages 
so actually let me eat these before I tell you that they're fantastic because I mean I've had them before but I feel like either they could have got better or worse imagine they got worse I'm like yeah these are amazing that would be awful um I have no idea what I ordered is that like a matcha basque cheesecake potentially what's this tiram oh my god tiramisu oh but this was the matcha tart I'm pretty sure this is my favorite though I actually die for this got ready I am gonna go meet a friend but first we're gonna go have a coffee somewhere I'm thinking Hagen, Elisa doesn't like Hagen, Hagen, whatever it is. Um, and then we have dinner tonight with some friends. And then we have to leave tomorrow for the airport. I've just finished packing. I'm not 100% happy with my selection, but it's what it is. So we popped down to Olenstein for oh, yeah. um, morning coffee. Honestly, their cappuccinos slap and their bread is baked fresh daily honestly their pastries i think it's a danish bakery but their pastries are so good vibes and you can sit outside i mean it's like 19 degrees everyone's like wrapped up we came to granger on pavilion road one of our favorite places we've got the crispy chicken we were going to be healthy but it didn't really go our way because we've got three fried things we have to get the courgette chips and then we've got the chicken salad and yeah green juice obviously but now we're gonna just have a catch up. Okay, we are en route to Stansted. I don't remember the last time I've been to Stansted. I don't even know if I've been to Stansted. Have we been to Stansted? I don't even know if I've been to Stansted. Where does Stansted go? Yeah, so we're out. Let's go. 